Hello everyone, it's Chuck Thunder, and welcome back for another episode of our, I guess it's still a Let's Play series of one of my favorite games here, we're playing our usual, um, Uncharted Waters. So, last I left you off was that I was going to start getting my handicraft skills, so I had to spend some time doing a handful of things while you guys were gone, and I didn't show it because I've kind of explained how some of these things worked in the past, but in case you need to know how to uh, pick up these skills and stuff, um, I'll show you how. So, first thing I needed to do was I needed to look focus on this tree right here. I needed to start with crafts, get art trading to get to handicrafts. Now before, I was saying, oh, I need crafts, then I need crafts level 2 so I can get to art trading and then from art trading I need to get to handicrafts and I need to level these things up. So what I did is I went to I clicked crafts, I clicked location and I saw that I need to go to Calais or Venice to get it from these people. I did. Then I got to level 2 by buying crafts and then I bought art trading from a guy in Venice, Michelangelo. And then I said to myself, okay, well now I need handicrafts. Well in order to get handicrafts I need to find these two people here, because this was closer to me, in Naples, and our Marseille, Da Vinci. Um, and at the time, it said I needed Art Trading too. And I said, you know what? Even though I still need Art Trading too, I don't want to work on handicrafts until I have it favored, which is this little yellow star here. When it's favored, in order to level up the item, to level up the skill, the amount of proficiency you need is cut in half, which I think would really speed up the leveling process. Um, and same thing would have gone with crafts and art trading, but getting to level 2 is not really that hard early on, no matter what, whether or not you're favored or not in those skills. So I said, oh, let me find a job out there that has handicrafts favored. And yeah, maybe some other things. And that's what I did too, is I said, okay, well, I need to go find a job that does that. So the job that to get is the medicine trader. Now, this isn't the only one. There's several out there. But this is one of the easier ones to get because you only need a guild card in order to get this job, a job card to get this card. So, I didn't have one, so I went to my merchant uh, guild in Seville and saw that I couldn't um, get that job. I said, oh, well, I can't get the job, I need the guild card. So how do I get a guild card? So I went to Sagers. Now, if you guys remember, Sagers is where you do a lot of your early game leveling and your um, questing to get the ships that you need. Now I with this tune have not finished Sagers. I haven't done anything with Sagers other than I think um, the trade quest line, maybe some of the adventure, and maybe some of the maritime. I'm not really entirely sure how much I've gone through, but I haven't done through enough of it for sure. Um, so I said I needed to get a merchant guild card. So how do I get a merchant guild card? I went to Sagers, I asked the merchant uh, quest guy over there for quests, and then I kept on looking at the quests until I found one that said that was going to result in getting a merchant guild card or a job card. If you read the directions carefully, you'll find out which ones are which, and it wasn't that hard of a quest. I had to sail to London, uh, or sail to Lisbon, talk to Lisbon, buy some pigs or pork and bring pork to London. So I, you know, that's all I did, did that quest, came back, and I got the guild card. Then I went to the merchant GM in your town that you're in. And I got the job of the medicine trader. Now that I'm the medicine trader, I can now get the skills that are part of the job anywhere. I don't even need to go to these locations that it says. Like for handicrafts, it said I was going to need to go to Marseille and Naples. Well, no, I didn't need to because now I was in a job. And that job had handicrafts favored, which means I can learn it anywhere. So that's what I went and did. So I went and learned all of the favored skills of the medicine trader. So that was accounts, which I think I already had, seasoning trading, medicine trading, luxury trading, handicrafts, and then pathology and first aid. Now these are not as important, but they are perfectly fine things to have. First aid just means you lose your loss of crew during battle or exploration, so that happens from over time when you're doing those things. Pathology also prevents um, uh, scurvy or infectious disease at sea, so that's not a bad thing to have either. Um, so, and they're both, this one's got multiple ranks, but this one is a passive skill, which is kind of great to have. And then uh, this one is not passive. You would use this, I guess, when you're during a battle or exploring to help reduce your um, loss of crew when you're suffering from something. But, so that's what I would say are the lot important things, but I went and picked them up because they were favored, and I figured, why not? 
Um, and I also uh, focused on leveling up a little bit more. Um, I did my trade leveling a little bit more so I can get to the 35 skills uh, for two reasons. One, because I wanted 35 skills in order to get these uh, skills f to fit in here without letting go of too many other trade skills. Like I let go of fishing just so I can get an, 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 an fishing and I think it was ecological research were two skills that I had. I just got rid of them so that I can fill in these other slots with these other favorite skills. Now I have a full 35 skills. And the second reason why I did that, I should say full 35, but now I have 35 skills. The other thing I wanted to focus on, the reason why, is because once you reach a certain 35 skills, you get fisherman's gear. And there was another thing that gave me something else that I just claimed. Um, there it is. Experience 10 jobs. I got that because I got the other job. Um, so now I have Thunder Beast Charm. And that was great because that's going to help me boost handicrafts more because the Thunder Beast Charm increases skill proficiency by 10% for an hour. So since we're going to be doing handicraft buffing um, for a little bit, and I'm going to show you what my process is, I'm going to pop one of these so I get extra skill proficiency. I'm also going to pop one of these so I can get extra experience for the next 50% 50, 50 for the next few hours. So that's what I'm going to do. And then the last thing I want to do, now some of you might be looking, oh Chuck you've already done some handicrafts, you're already ranked 2. You're right, I did. And that's because I was trying to familiarize myself with what I could do in this area. And I leveled up pretty quickly and I already have a plus 1 uh, item on. <clears throat> and I've had this item for a while, and it's this uh, bronze gear. So if you have a chance to get one of the hands on one of these, notice that casting and handicrafts go hand in hand here, um, which are both great things for my tune because I do both. I do casting and handicrafts. So bronze gear, if you can get your hand on one of those and it doesn't cost too much, that'd be great. Um, and then you can use one of these if you're trying to pick up more metal and such too. The ill-fated golden comb, but I really don't do that. Um, but this bronze gear is going to be great for what we're going to be doing today. And the last thing, I'm pretty sure, not entirely sure, but I, I think I now qualify for another aid. Um, right now my aid that I have is a casting aid. Okay, he helps with casting, which is great. It gives me a plus one casting skill. Now I'd like somebody who has handicrafts. So here I am in Seville, and Holfina, when you click details, she has handicrafts as a plus one skill. She also has first aid and surgery as a plus one skill. Great, two other things I have. Um, and then, actually no, not for surgery. First aid, yes, but not pathology is the other one. Medicine trading skill and alcohol trading skill, which are all favorite skills, I believe, right now with my current setup. Alcohol. Medicine? No, just just medicine. But alcohol getting a plus one wouldn't be bad because we could use that <coughs> too to level up our luxuries trading because it's another thing we need to work on too. So we're gonna pick up Alfina if it'll let us. I'm pretty sure I have enough to do it. Yep, I now have two aids. So when you have two aids. You just need to start sailing around with her. Now, I probably could have been sailing with the second aid for a while now. Um, and I have a habit of not doing uh, the things I should with my aids when I have them. But, you know, so like right now I have seven undistributed traits. And I don't know which ones to put them in. Do I put them under... Let's see, that's already... Requires level 55, already 68. This one requires level 40. I already have level 77. Requires 38. We are already at 51, so that's great. This one requires 45. We're already at 68. This one requires 30. We're already at 77. 40, we're good. Surgeon 20, we're good. Surgeon 30, we're good. And yeah, so all these skills so far have the appropriate skill level. So I'm just kind of holding on to them. I could throw it all into casting if I want to continue to help his casting boost, I guess. Uh, I don't know, his casting his paymaster's traits. But I'm just going to hold on to it until he levels up more and more. More of these will get revealed. See here, these have battle level 28, battle level 15, 5, and 10. So he just needs 15 adventure. Here he needs 10 adventure. And then that'll open up, so that's really close. 
Um, this one needs 25. We're not there yet. And 20, we're not there yet. This one needs one more level here in battle. So things are going to unlock them. Now, Holfina has none. So we are just going to have to start doing some stuff with her to get her leveled up. So now we officially have three aids. Sorry, two aids. Can I get a third aid? Not that I want a third aid right this minute. But I don't know what it takes to get a third aid. No, I can't get it. Now that I've clicked it, it says you, your aid cannot accompany, accompany you anymore. So I can't get another one. I think they're supposed to say you cannot have any more aids accompanying you. But because I didn't just go and lose an aid. No, I got both my aids. Alright, so we're fine. Um, and we could change. I don't know if we want her to be a lieutenant. Can I change her aid duty? I can. We're going to put her in. I can't put her in Paymaster because she's already. Someone's already in Paymaster. So we're going to put her in Storekeeper for now. Actually, you know what? No, no, no. I'm going to put her in Navigator because she's going to sail with us. All right, not that it matters um, right now. So that's it. So now that we're all set with this, I can show you my plan for handicrafts. So next step. So we got the handicraft skill. We got all these things. Where do we start? So you need to start getting yourselves into handicraft books. There are a few books to pay attention to. There are ones that are ranked one. So we're going to look at those first. Here's rank one, basic shipwright, basic crafts book, and making extra wood armoring. Now this one can be found in most major cities, I believe. I forget where I found it, but you can look it up into the um, Google, and you'll bring it up on the um, not on the Ivy Road, but on the Fan Spot or whatever or the Fan Fandom, and it'll tell you where you get it. And this one allows you to produce logs from lumber. Sorry, produce lumber from logs and make rat poison from berries and crown and grass, which you might have some of these things to make deck brushes, which actually do I need some deck brushes because if I do, I'll make some. No, I got some deck brushes. We're okay. I do need food though. Anyways. So that's one of the first things we're gonna do before we get started, because we're gonna blow through a lot of vigor and we need to get some food. Now, if you're ever wondering if you don't have a tune that can cook, the clerk is what gives you food here. So you can buy food. We are going to buy scones. Tempting. I want something with vigor and fatigue recovery. And we're going to go ahead and custom slot it in here. So there it is. We have five seafood pizzas left. All right. So that shipwright basic book is the first thing you're going to need because you're going to want to turn logs into lumber. Um, and you can get logs from a few places around here. Um, the place that I would recommend going to get logs is Las Palmas um, just because it's pretty local to here. There are other places, I believe. I'm just not familiar with them. It's either it's not Madeira. I'm pretty sure it's Las Palmas has logs. And you're just going to do that really, really quickly just to get yourself up um, at a level one. Because once you're at a level one, you can start doing the better stuff. Not that making buckets or barrels or fire buckets is really all that important, but you want to get out of this book immediately. And you may be able to not even bother with this book if you have a plus one item right to begin with. Um, which I did all along and I didn't realize that. Whatever. But. Um, so now I'm level three. Well, level two with the plus one makes me level three, I believe. Actually, it might even make me level four now because I just went and got Holfina. Two with plus one, but Holfina's Holfina doesn't have actually the skill yet. So we we don't have a plus one with handicrafts yet because Holfina's not level there, not leveled up yet. So that's the first thing. So before we go and do any of that, um, we're gonna go and use this Thunder Beast charm. And we're going to use um, the 50% experience charm. And we are going to get ourselves a sailing. Because 
I don't need to do anything with the items that I have on me right now, with the exception of the logs. Um, and we could do it at sea. Um, plus, getting the management skill would be nice too, but what does it take to get the management skill? Level 3 storage, which we're nowhere even close. Um, and yeah, I gotta go to Veracruz. Yeah, we're not, we're not anywhere close. But, anyways, management we could talk about later. It's a skill that can only be leveled up while sailing and doing uh, stuff at the same time. So, alright, so I'm just going to start sailing. I'm going to sail to Lisbon just because. Because we don't need much long. There. Sail. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and use now. Uh, these are not the right books. We're going to go use the shipwright crafting book. We're going to go ahead and make lumber. Okay. And we're going to make a deck brush just because we have the extra spare log. Okay. Now that we've done that, I'll show you the next books. Okay, you graduated out of the crafts book. Now you're going to move on to something that's got rank 1, 2 here. You can go to extra wood paneling. And if with iron and lumber, you can make different wood panelings. Notice they cost different amounts here, so I could do beach board if I wanted to with the lumber and the iron that I can make up with my casting skill. That's why these two things are great to have hand in hand. Or, you can go to this book, and you could produce olive oils, sugar, peanut oils, vinegars, with just level 2. So these are options for you too. Olives are not far to find in here in this area. Peanuts aren't hard to find. Actually, they might be a little bit harder to find. Um, Thyme, rosemary, and white vinegar. I'm pretty sure this is all pretty close by. Olives is the easiest one. Um, not really hard to get. So, wine. Once we get to level 7, this is where we're really going to focus on because it's perfect for what we need. Uh, brine is pretty easy to do too. So, while we're at sea though, we are going to do metal smelting real quick because we have the ability to make steel. And we have the ability to make iron and casting. So this is not handicrafts. Now that I have that made up, I can now do the wood paneling thing. And I can do beach boards myself personally. Uh, I just don't have enough logs, so I can't. So we can do red pine boards. Just one of them. And then we can do cedar boards. Done. So. These things you can go and sell. Look, notice if I have a great success, your durability of these cedar platings will be better than others. Um, and even then, look at that. The, the high skill also gives you extra armor. The fact that it was great success gave me durability, regular amounts of armor, but also reduced the ship speed penalty. Interesting stuff to, to notice. Because also, anything that you make, here's one that I made earlier, probably would have had worse ship speed uh, reductions if I didn't have great success. Here's a red pine, three plus three minus three. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and sell these things. Now, people might want these things. You could set up a bazaar and try to sell them. I, I don't know that it's needed. Um, and by the time you're sitting around waiting for it to happen, you might as well just have sold it to like some vendor. So I'm not really going to worry much about it. I'm just going to go to the item shop and get rid of these things. If I can even get rid of these items here. No, I can't get rid of them here. To go to the uh, shipwright, or the craft shop. But so you get the idea, and that's what you're going to focus on first. That's what I've learned so far. Um, is doing up to like one. You're going to level up these things relatively quickly once you find out where to get almonds. But the first main thing is to do if you got casting or if you don't have casting to do iron casting at the same time and use the iron to make the panelings and then sell the panelings. Otherwise you could focus on the spice route of things um, and you could do other options here Let me just get rid of some things because we don't need all of that um, so yeah oh I even have something else I forgot that I could do okay it's all easier sell the iron and the steel because I don't I don't really want to use those but so we're gonna I think of what I'm gonna do because I have another book here that I'm 
nowhere even close to making, but it's making iron mittens, iron boots, and iron gloves. This is just a book I happened to find when I was out shopping for handicrafts books. Iron boots. People pay for iron boots to have, like, a lot of durability. So this might be something 100% 100 defense durability, so you can make iron boots and then possibly improve their defense with some other items. So these are things that people might want. Um, but that's why I picked it up. But otherwise, I'm going to focus on doing the seasoning part of the recipe book here. Um, just because I think there are some things close by, plus sugar cane's not hard to find either. I think that's pretty close by. That might also be in Las Palmas or Madeira. Processing sugar's easy. And if you have a cooking tune, you could pass off some of the things that you make from here. Um, peanuts, I believe, are not far from here either if you're up for the travels. Um, apple vinegar, that's pretty easy. Just go to uh, Calais. You can get there from Marseille. Marseille buy up all the dried apples, turn them into apple wine vinegar. Um, seasonings here, you could do collection while at sea and get brine and then make salt from it. Um, what else? Oh, and then you can move on to wine. Um, and then coconut. And you might grind those for a while. So that's that's going to be my path um, of what I'm going to be working on when it comes to handicrafts. So just as a, as a quicker overview of what we've talked about so far, I had to get a job that allowed me to get my handicraft skill favored. Once the handicraft skill is favored, then you'll be able to cut down on the um, needs of proficiency here. So that's the first thing. The second thing is get yourself the book. Once you have the Shipwright Crafts basic book, you can level past level one really quickly with some of these. There's some other things like this one requires shipbuilding. I don't never mess with these, but things you could do. Um, Look at that. Beer and logs make barrels. You can do all sorts of things here. Um, but that's the first thing. Get that book. Level up through that book. Then level through this book if you want to. This book has a few more things you could do. Oak boards, elm boards, beach boards. All things you could do. And then finally, you can do uh, the complete, uh, sorry, the um, complete seasoning books and get yourself leveled up from there. So if there's any questions and you guys want to do a full-on training later on with this. Um, I feel like this is enough to get what you need explained. So if you have any questions with uh, handicrafts, leave them below. Maybe I can answer them. Some of the other people in game may be able to help, but um, you know, I appreciate everybody who watches and gives me pointers on what I get wrong about these episodes. And um, that's it, everybody. Thanks for checking in. It's Chuck Thunder, and thanks for watching.